like I said, you do get a little bit, uh, uh, you know, flavorful on the internet. Uh, Yosha Bach tweeted something that you LOL'd at uh, in reference to HAL 9000. Quote, I appreciate your argument and I fully understand your frustration, but whether the pod bay doors should be opened or closed is a complex and nuanced issue. <laughs> so you're at the head of Meta AI. Uh, you know, this is something that really worries me that AI, our AI overlords, will speak down to us with corporate speak um, of this nature. And you sort of resist that with your way of being. Um, is, is this something you can just comment on, sort of working at a big company, how you can avoid the overfearing, I suppose, the um, through caution create harm? Yeah. Again, I think the answer to this is open source platforms and then enabling a widely diverse set of people to build AI assistants that represent the diversity of uh, cultures, opinions, languages, and value systems across the world um, so that you're not bound to just, uh, you know, be uh, brainwashed by <laughs> a particular way of thinking because of uh, a single AI entity. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I think it's a really, really important question for society. And the problem I'm seeing is, um, is that, um, which is why I've been so vocal and sometimes a little sardonic about it. Never stop. Uh, Never stop, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> we love is, it. It's because I see the danger of this concentration of power through, uh, through proprietary AI systems as a much bigger danger than everything else. That if we really want, you know, uh, diversity of opinion, uh, AI systems that, you know, in, in this future that where we will all be interacting through AI systems, we need those to be diverse for the preservation of uh, uh, diversity of ideas and you know creeds and political opinions and 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 whatever, uh, and the preservation of democracy. And what works against this is people who think that for reasons of security we should keep AI systems under lock and key because it's too dangerous to put it in the hands of of everybody. Um, because it could be used by terrorists or something. Um, that would lead to, uh, you know, potentially a, a, a very bad future in which all of our information diet is controlled by a small number of uh, uh, companies through proprietary systems. Do you trust humans with this technology to uh, to build systems that are? on the whole good for humanity. Isn't that what democracy and free speech is all about? I think so. Do you trust institutions to do the right thing? Yeah. Do you trust people to do the right thing? And, and yeah, there's bad people who are gonna do bad things, but they're not going to have superior technology to the good people. So then it's gonna be my good AI against your bad AI, right? I mean, it's the examples that we were just talking about of, you know, maybe, uh, some rogue country will build, you know, some AI system that's going to try to convince everybody to go into a civil war or something, or 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 elect a favorable uh, ruler. And um, but then they will have to go past our AI systems. Right. An AI system with a strong Russian accent will be trying to convince our <laughs> and doesn't put any uh, articles in their sentences. <laughs> yeah. uh, well. It'll be at the very least absurdly comedic. <laughs>